Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a weekly reading for the fire signs that is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. These messages will be for April 11th through the 17th. They are general, they're not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. Also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So I'm going to jump right into your reading and see what messages Spirit has for you. So first we're going to pull your energy for this week. Spirit, what will be the energy of the fire signs? Okay. I have man holding a coin. Spirit says money, money, money. Okay, fire signs. Some of you are going to be focused on your career, on some type of project, endeavor. I heard goal. Yes, you're working towards some type of goal where you are expecting a huge return in terms of your finances. You're seeking after your financial stability this week. That is your focus. It's all about the money. So let's get some more messages. I have the Seven of Cups. I have the Page of Swords. Let's get one more message. And I have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. For some of you, Spirit is saying with the Seven of Cups, career options. So some of you may be choosing between several different job offers. I heard two, two job offers. Some of you more than two. You don't know which one to choose from. Spirit says stability. Choose the job, the career that's going to offer you more stability. Some of you, you're deciding on what career path that you want to take. I heard school. Some of you may be in school, college, and you're trying to pick a major. And I heard and a minor. Yes, but this is about you choosing what career path you want to take for some. And for others of you, this is you having multiple options when it comes to job offers. Yes, I heard lucky candidate. So yes, you are definitely highly sought after. Your skills and your abilities are being recognized. I heard award. For some of you, you may get an award this week from your job. Spirit says you may also get a pay raise. Spirit says that you're being noticed. You're being noticed this week, fire signs. With the page of swords, Spirit says new idea. Yes, I heard creative spark. So some of you are going to get a creative spark, a new idea on how to create success, how to get more money. I heard new paths. Some of you are going to be wanting to, to take a new path, um, go into a new direction when it comes to a project. You feel like this will be more lucrative for you. You'll be able to see more success by taking this new direction. I heard work with others. Some of you may be considering working with others, partnering with other people. I heard the same. Yes, these people have the same mindset as you do when it comes to success, when it comes to going after their goals. With the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse... Spirit says don't give up. Some of you are thinking about giving up, quitting, throwing in the towel. But Spirit is saying do not give up. Continue to work on this. Continue to pour and invest into this project, this idea, this business, whatever this is for you. Continue to give to the situation because you are going to see success. But this week, you're just going to have an urge where you just want to 
walk away. You want to stop working on this because you feel like it's not going to amount to anything. You feel like you're not going to get where you want to be. You're not going to see the abundance that you want to see. So spirit is like work on your persistence. Be persistent. Be persevered. Continue moving forward despite what you see happening before you. It's like do not give up on this goal. But I feel like for some of you that's going to be what you are going to be thinking about doing this week. You're going to be thinking about giving up on something. I heard project. Yes, you're going to be thinking about giving up on a project. But Spirit is saying, no, do not do it. Continue working on this. It's like success takes time. Success does not happen overnight. And you just have to believe in yourself. Even when other people don't believe in you, fire signs, you have to believe in yourself. You have to be your biggest motivator. So let's pull some love messages. I have the page of wands in the reverse. I have strength. And I have the King of Cups. Okay, fire signs. Um, for some of you with this page of wands in the reverse. Spirit says a new relationship is not going to be able to come together this week. You may have been hoping to move forward with this person, but things are not going to move forward the way that you want them to, the way that you expect them. Spirit says, for some of you, you work with this person. So this could be someone that you work with, that you're interested in, but things are not going to be moving forward. It's like there's some blockage. I guess Spirit says you work together. That's the blockage. So maybe this person doesn't believe in mixing business with pleasure. But I do feel like some of you really like this person or the role school reverse. This person really likes you. They consider you an option, so they do consider you someone that they would date, that they would go out with, but it's just the fact that you work together. I heard boss. For some of you, this person could be your boss, or you could be this person's boss. You could be over them, um, an authority figure. I also heard inadequate. For those of you in a relationship, the person that you're connected to feels inadequate in the relationship. I heard money. You may make more money than this person. You may be more stable. Yeah, they don't feel secure. They don't feel like they have enough for you. With the strength card. Angie Stone's song just came to me. I think it's called Brother. You're my strong brother. I love you. I'm not going to try to sing. <laughs> um, I see some of you really uplifting. I heard men. I heard men ministry. Connecting with someone who wants to start a men's ministry. Her husband, okay. So some of you, this is your husband. This is your spouse. Um, He wants to start a men's ministry. And he wants you to work with him. I heard team. So he wants you to work with him. Be a part of his team. Be there to support him. Her ideas. He feels like you have some great ideas when it comes to this um, men's ministry or some type of men's or boys mentorship program. But yeah, collaboration. You are going to be collaborating with your significant other to start some type of ministry or mentorship program. This is something that 
you will be, Spirit says, discussing, you will be talking about this week. I also heard children and I heard foster parent. So for some of you, um, you may be thinking about becoming a foster parent. Spirit says you don't have any children of your own. You and your spouse, you want to foster children. I heard taking steps, take the next step. So spirit is telling you to move forward with this idea. Spirit says this is something that you will be great at. You'll be able to provide them with the love and nurture that they need. King of Cups. I heard stable. For some of you, um, there is someone stable who's going to be coming into your life this week. Spirit says he's more like a father figure. Spirit says this person reminds you of your father. Okay, so this person is going to remind you of your father, like very loving and nurturing. You do have a great relationship with your dad. Um, and this person is going to remind you of him. Spirit says there's going to be a very strong connection between you and this person. This person is very emotionally mature, very wise. They know what they want. They're not afraid to go after it. It's like you're going to be at peace in this connection. Spirit says older. So for some of you, you may be an older couple. I heard 50s. So you may be in your 50s. And you're going to be meeting someone new. Spirit says someone that you can spend the rest of your life with. I heard senior citizen home. So you may meet this person at a senior citizen home. For some of you, I heard parents. So you may find out that your parent is dating someone at their senior citizen home. Yes, that they have a boyfriend. That's what Spirit says. At their senior citizen home. Yeah, her mother. Yes, for some of you, you're going to find out that your mom has a boyfriend. Is dating someone. So let's clarify. To get some more messages. Spirit, give me a message for the page of wands in the reverse. I have death in the reverse. I heard inadequate again. This person that you're connected to for some, they feel very inadequate in this relationship. Like they feel like they can't pull their own weight. Or the roles could be reversed. This is how you're feeling about this person. With this death card in the reverse, this is like telling me that either you or this person have been feeling this way for a long time, but you just have not expressed yourself or this person have not expressed themselves. Spirit says this is creating a blockage in this relationship. Because this person is holding back how they truly feel or you're holding back how you truly feel. But you've definitely been feeling this way for a very long time or this person has. Let's get a message for strength. Okay. I have the Seven of Pentacles. I have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, and I have the Two of Wands. Yeah, you're going to be doing something, or your significant other is going to be doing something with men. I heard, like, uplift men. So, yes, they're going to be um, working, or you and your partner are going to be working together to uplift men. Some type of men's ministry, um... I heard group home. Some of you may, may be thinking about opening up a group home. But you're going to be working with children, um, young boys, 
um, mentorship, foster parents, but it's like you are going to help uplift. That is your goal. That is you and your partner's purpose together is to help uplift those who don't have any hope, who do not see a way out, who are stuck in their situation and don't know how to move forward in life. Yes, helping people see that there's more out there for them. Really tap into their abilities, understand their value, their worth. Be able to really look at more options for their life. So let's get a message for the King of Cups. I have the tower in the reverse. I just get he reminds you of your dad. Oh, someone is going to meet an individual who reminds them of the father. Almost like reliving your childhood over again. But I heard good memories. But this is going to be very good. Like you wanted someone who was very similar to your father because of the nurturing quality that your dad has. Your yes, spirit says the perfect match. Yes, like you and this person um, are going to be a perfect match. You're both on the same page. You both want the same things. For some of you, this is you meeting someone later in your life. So you may be older. But this is going to be a very stable relationship. I see this lasting a long time. I heard life partner. This is not going to be a relationship where there's a lot of back and forth. Um, where, you know, you break up to make up. This person, once they come in your life, they're going to stay. I heard this week. So, yes, for some of you, you will be meeting this person this week. So, let's pull one final message. And again, I heard senior citizen home, like somebody is meeting someone at a senior citizen home or your parent like is dating someone at a senior citizen home. I heard work for some of you. So it says you work at a senior citizen home and this is where you are going to meet this person. I heard family members. So they will be a family member of one of the residents. Spirit says you already met them, so you've already met this person. I heard ask you out, so they will be asking you out on a date. So the final messages are potential. Think big for your future. Yes, think big for your future. For those of you who are thinking about giving up, throwing in the towel when it comes to a project, a business, it's like, no, you have to think big. You have to see success before you actually achieve it you have to be able to visualize it before it actually materializes in your reality so yes see the big picture even though you're not where you want to be you still have to visualize yourself as being successful as being abundant the last message is resilience. Rise above tribulations. Yes, rise above tribulations. Anything that life throws at you, rise above it. Be resilient. Do not stop. Do not give up on whatever goals you have for yourself. Going back to this relationship where this person feels inadequate or you feel like this person is inadequate. It's like to rise above this situation to rise above these feelings you have to deal with them you have to talk you have to communicate with each other so yes be resilient in your relationship put in the work the effort that it takes to overcome whatever challenge is thrown at you because that is what is going to make your relationship stronger being able to overcome situations together so i hope that these messages resonate Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. 
Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.